Thanks. It's good to be back. I enjoyed this race. I was actually, I felt nervous and like a rookie, you know. I had to shake some rust off. I'd like to thank Carmen, my wife, Maddox, my boy, uh, Jake and uh, Nick for helping me once again. The vet crew was awesome. Alex, you did a good job again on that trail. Thank you. And yeah, I got to come back next year. <laughs> Like, I know their names were mentioned also, but uh, in our finishers meeting before the banquet, the, the mushers all get together and they talk about what improvements can be had and be done during the race. And, and one of the competitors talked about our judges. And, and uh, I, I'd like our three judges to stand up, uh, uh, Stan and Brian and Scott. And, and these three judges, uh, all three of them are mushers. They've competed in this race. And so one of the comments that came out, you know, uh, uh, Lisa said, you know, I've been to other races and these mushers, or these judges were really concerned of helping me, encouraging me to finish, and it's not like they were punitive. So judges, will you please stand up for a moment? <laughs> In fifth place, I would like to introduce what I thought might be my future ex-wife, but I think we got through another Bear Grease. Uh, that would be Colleen Wallen. faces out there. Um, Mike Keyport, you kind of talked about mushers being kind of cracked, and you're right. Um, I like to tell people this habit of ours, uh, owning dogs and running dogs, is probably, I think crack cocaine is probably a cheaper habit. <laughs> but, um, um, we all love it. <laughs> yeah. uh, congratulations to all the finishers, uh, especially you, Ryan. Um, what a great, what a great win for you and your family. Uh, last year, I did not thank my handlers, and it's haunted me for a year. Um, my handlers at the table over there. We got Baron, he's the head chef, and Jody, who will do just about anything and everything. Um, Nick Renexis, Thomas Rowley, and of course you, Errol. Um, thank you all. They are sponsored by Anheuser Busch. <laughs> trek to detox <laughs> so, um, but thanks you guys we couldn't do it without you it's wonderful and more thank you for everything um, everything that you do and um, we're a good team um, the judges are, are great I, I was going to Mineral Center the other day and I'm like God, you got you got these really nice guys and they're always helpful so I came up with a new name for you guys, your studges. Because you're all awesome. <laughs> <laughs> That was my thought on the trail. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> and, and the best. Thank you, Greg, for organizing everybody. Thank you um, for all the good care that you give our dogs. Uh, we could come in with a broken arm or a broken neck, and everybody would say, how are your dogs? So <laughs> that, that's what's important. Um, thank you, everybody. Have a great rest of your day. And uh, also clean, uh, after you get your swag, uh, clean is the musher rep and she would uh, announce who the sportsmanship award is for this year's race. Okay. I'll hold your check. <laughs> <laughs> so the sportsmanship award is voted on by all the mushers, um, uh, the finishers. Uh, it was a unanimous uh, decision this year to give the sportsmanship award to a very, very, I'm gonna cry, a uh, very, very dedicated man um, who is hardworking, and he is the reason why we are all here, because he puts that first trail marker up, um, and he doesn't stop 
until we all get to the finish line. So Alex Angelos. Yeah. 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 It's unbelievable. I'm, uh, I'm going to come. <laughs> you know, if you surround yourself with a lot of good people, it makes you look good. And, and that's just it. I'm surrounded by awesome volunteers and help and board members and MJ. Uh, we've been working on this race together for a long time. It, uh, it just makes makes me look good. So. But um, I'm speechless. Thank you. Thank you very much. It, it's the best honor I could uh, I could get from you. So. Thank you. You know what's kind of amazing about our mushers voting the award for Alex, he wouldn't tell you this, but he was voted that a number of years ago he was given the Sportsmanship Award. So this is not the first time that Alex has done such a great job. So again, thank you very much, Alex. Our musher in fourth place is also our Rookie of the Year, Martin Messikoff. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Hall of Organization, and uh, good job with Ryan, Keith, and Ryan, and uh, very nice race, and uh, fast, and very happy, and come back. <laughs> My fast, fast dog uh, is my home. Uh, Amazon, no, it's Amazon. At the home, about next year, I support better team. <laughs> We also have a, a another former champion, and uh, I was talking to, to Ryan Anderson at his truck last night when he finished, and and uh, one of his uh, handlers, uh, Amanda, was helping him. Uh, unfortunately, she couldn't race this year, uh, but she said, "So Ryan, uh, how do you feel?" And he said, "Well, I don't know how I feel, but I'll tell you how I smell." <laughs> And he said, I smell like a combination of bacon, mini donuts, and B.O. And that's what he said. <laughs> so in third place from Cushing, Wisconsin, Ryan Anderson. And he, uh, he gets a check in the amount of $2,275. And then my friend eat mini donuts, and then I started smelling mini donuts. And of course, uh, the dog went, I have showered. Um, anyway, uh, thanks all board members. Thanks everybody who put the race on. Thank my sister for handling for me. Thank my wife at home. Uh, thank care of our kid. Actually, she's working with the bills. So, um, anyhow, thank, for, thank her for her support, and uh, we'll hopefully see you next year.
our, uh, our second place finisher is also another former champion. And uh, I, I was talking to Keith at uh, Finland, and he was telling me training with Ryan and, and trying to, and he and Ryan are, are good friends, of course, Ryan Reddington. And, um, he said it's a lot of work training, and I asked him how his team is, and he said uh, he said it's really a good dog team, and I, I'm glad to be running uh, the second team of the Reddingtons. And then he looked at me and winked and said, uh, "Make no doubt about it, I'm gonna try to kick his ass." So in second place, <laughs> Keith Tyler. race and uh, you know some people could just fold their tent and pack it in and, and you, you know what Ryan did and a lot of you may not know this but what Ryan did is then he went out and won his next three straight races he went and won the Kobach and then he won the Gunflint Mail Run and now he came back to the Berries so Ryan good job here's our champion Ryan Reddington and he won the $4,875 I'd like to thank all the volunteers that helped put on this amazing race. We look forward to this race all year, and, and I know uh, it, when I cross, every road cross, and, and everybody's so cheerful and, and cheering us on, and I, I'm like, just please give me a second where I can thank you, you know, like, because I try to thank every volunteer when I go by. And I'd like to thank the, the race board. I'd like to thank the, the veterinarian team, and most importantly, too, for us, I'd like to thank my wife, Erin, for letting me uh, try to put together the best group of dogs that I can. She's incredible, and I'd also like to thank my handling crew, and Matt for driving the truck, Cody, Megan, Sarah. Um, Sarah and Megan to put a lot of time and effort helping me train train both teams. And and um, I'd like to thank Keith for, for also um, saying yes when I called him up in the fall and asked him if he would mind running this, this second team in the Berries. And uh, took some convincing, and uh, but I'm sure glad that you did and very proud of the race that you ran and and proud of both both teams and dogs. And I'd like to thank my sponsors, Red Pot Dog Food, dogbooties.com, Alaska X, any of you guys looking for a job this summer, um, come, come talk to us. and. Um, <laughs> Yeah, I had uh, many other sponsors that I'd like to thank, and um, we'll be back next year. And uh, I'd like to congratulate all the mushrooms for running a great race, and everybody had beautiful looking dog teams out there. It was very impressive. And I'd also like to thank Stan and his, his crew. Um, you guys were amazing, and, and uh, we look forward to this race next year. Thank you. our other competitors that finished uh, I, I would like all the other finishers that were not in the in the money to please come forward and we have a bag for you as a as a finishing gift so come on up Kevin and Jay and uh, Lisa and Jen and uh, Laura come on up please Close out the bank, but I do have one uh, announcement. I, I know we're looking at trying to get a uh, snowmobile down to Duluth Lawn and Sports. So if anybody can help in any way, one of the snowmobiles that we use for the race, we have to get to Duluth. But 
As is tradition in the uh, majority of the dog races, or all of the dog races that I've been part of, is the last finisher to cross the line is awarded the annual Red Lantern. And uh, Lisa Dietzen, like I mentioned earlier, this was her third qualifier for the Iditarod. And those of you who were sleeping this morning, I uh, peeked out my window, and that kind of counts. But uh, <laughs> I believe she crossed the finish line this morning around 5.30 AM. So Lisa, here is your Red Lantern. And if you'd like to say a few words. Again, thank you for supporting this great race and safe travels.